pretty powerful. It's a tough choice. Yes, I'll take a lizard man. They look cool. Let's take a look at it. 208 hit points. Not bad. Off to the farm with you. More pork chops. Four hit points. It's getting better. A mimic, all right. We'll give you the good meat. Have a rib. It sounds like a pork chop would be better than a rib, but maybe maybe they mean like a rack of ribs. Like rib meat is supposed to be like softer or something. I don't know. Eleven hit points. Twelve attack. He is indeed the king of slimes. Five hit points. That's more like it. And learns beat. No. We are, we do not beat people. That is not a nice thing to do, Amberweed. One ninety one. He's he's getting better. He's getting better. He's gonna pass the 200 mark. It really pays off to have a party with high hit points, I feel. Because otherwise you can't survive to do anything. Although I suppose having high hit points isn't really necessary if you have incredible agility and incredible attack power, and say so you would take them out in the first turn before that. But otherwise, defense and magic points and going through an endurance match is usually the best way to go. Step guard. A rib. Oh, oops. I forgot. The slime board just reminded me. And I didn't take a wing. Oh, what am I thinking? The slime board. I had the slime board. I could have turned it into the doctor. I forgot. Oh, what am I thinking? There's an extra dungeon waiting for me, and I'm in, I'm in here. Oh, well. We're just gonna have to get killed again. And if we can't beat him, then we go into the other dungeon. Otherwise, we're going into the other dungeon afterwards. Oh, well. Thirteen hit points. Yowza. That was a big change. I am pleased. I thought that would be good hit point growth later on. Such a dramatic change. And Twin Hits. Twin Hits is a good ability. Hmm. But I like having Metal Cut around. I like having Step Guard. I like having that. I guess we don't need Blaze more. Oh yeah, feed the monsters. I forgot to feed the monsters. Oh well. Nice. 
9 hit points. Still quite good. Barrier. More just into breath attacks. I like it, but it's too it's yeah, too specific. It only can do one type of attack. I'd like I prefer defense up. Defense where up works against everything a little, I believe. What do my items look like? Yeah, I didn't bring a warp wing. And I didn't bring my staffs. I should have brought my various warp items. I'm, I'm regretting that now. Floors, 28 floors. Quite a bit. I should have given him a rib. Well, maybe I'll still get a chance to. I wonder what feeding him two pieces of meat does. My guess was that it didn't help any more than the first piece did. But feeding a superior piece, that, that probably will help. Oh no, Amberweed. We'll have to revive you. Have a rib. Actually, if Unicorn goes down, that would be a problem. I should have been healing my guys. Revive! And then some healing for yourself. And then a bit for the king as well. King now has 286. He's feeling pretty healthy. I wonder how this Amberweed's gonna turn out. He's looking pretty good so far. Although his start was kinda slow. Seems like most monsters are like that. The first 10 levels or so. Casting Blizzard, cast fire instead. That's such a waste. Eleven, very good. Magic wall. What'd that do? Resistance to enemy spells. Now that sounds pretty awesome. Hmm. Better than lowering all the enemies' defense? other things? Better than twin hits? Better than twin hits, I'm gonna say. Yeah, staying alive is better than doing more damage. I have to favor the defensive side. Let's 
Locked up guard. Ma magic. A wizard. I can't help myself. Wizards are so much fun. Have some bad meat. You deserve it. 